Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Alex Thomas here back with another video for you guys. Yes, I know I've been gone for a couple weeks now. I haven't uploaded a video since like last couple Tuesdays ago. But I've been taking a break clearly from YouTube and you guys already know that. But I had to make this video because I just got into the show. And of course we got House of the Dragon coming out later this year. They released a poster for it. And also we get we just got an announcement that a Jon Snow sequel series is coming as well. Well at least it has been, has been rumored. I don't know if it has been confirmed. So I think it's right now it's time to talk about Game of Thrones. Uh, let's talk about it, you guys. All right, you guys. Like I said, we're going to here to talk about Game of Thrones. The first season, like I said, I do have it right here in front of me on Blu-ray. And, um, yeah, let's go ahead and talk about it. Like I said, um, I just not got into the show, like, a couple months ago. And um, it's a show that it took me a while to obviously get into. The series has been over since, what, 2017, 2018. And it's been something that I've been saying, I'm going to watch it, I'm going to watch it, I'm going to watch it. My brother was trying to get me to it. I had a couple buddies of mine telling me I need to watch this show. And it took everything in me to say, okay, I'm going to sit down and watch this show. And I've been procrastinating, procrastinating, procrastinating. And um, I do AJ was like, yo, you got to watch the show. You got to watch the show. My, my buddy AJ Reacts 2 was telling me, I got to watch the show, got to watch the show. So I went out the Blu-ray hunt with him and I saw they were selling seasons one, they had two and three all for five dollars a piece. I ended up picking up season one and two. He sent me season three. So like one day I'm sitting down here reading, I think one of the Harry Potter books that I got. Shout out to Jason Carr for that one. And um I just looked over and I said, you know what? I'm gonna watch start watching the series. I'm gonna start watching the series. And right after the first episode, I was hooked. The one thing I gotta say is Right now, I'm only talking about season one, guys. I'm not going to talk about any other season. I'm probably going to review each season by itself as one video at each time. I'm not going to go through episode through episode. I'm probably going to go to my little spoilers within certain segments of this review as well. So be aware of that if you guys haven't seen the series. I'm going to be talking about little minor spoilers throughout the season. Like I said, I'm sitting down here reading a book. I looked over. I'm like, I'm going to watch this show. And I got hooked. I did right after the first episode. And I kind of love how... The tone is when it when the first episode goes. We first see the wall. We first see the Night's Watch, and we see them going out beyond the wall. And we see them being hunted by as what we know in the future as called White Walkers. And I love the tone of what they have to set up for this show. Um, then we go straight into we get introduced to Winterfeld and the Starks and how noble they are and what they code is and stuff. And I and we get to meet all these characters. And I'm I'm actually rewatching the show again for prepare for these reviews. And I'm gonna tell you guys right now, I've already watched the entire series, but I'm gonna review each season. I'm probably gonna rewatch some of the episodes in each season to prep for these reviews, like I'm doing for this one. But um it's so crazy to see all these characters together and they're all happy and stuff like that. But it's like one moment that happens that kind to that kind of um, you know drop the pedal and like makes the ripples going with the rest of the season, and is that John Aaron, the Hand of the King, dies. We don't know how he just dies. So that's basically mean King Robert, Robert Baratheon, is left without a hand. So it's uh at right when um, Ned Stark, the head of the Stark family of Winterfell, finds out that he dies. The first thing in his mind came to, oh my goodness, uh, Robert Baratheon is going to come to Winterfell to actually be handed a king. And just those one, those couple events kind of, kind of ripple effect the rest of the series. And right off the bat, I, I don't know most of these characters' names by hand, but Sean being in this series is awesome. He is really good in the show. Um, it's like he went from Lord of the Rings to playing Boromir, dropped in this this series. He's not the same character from Lord of the Rings, but he fits in this world because he existed in Lord of the Rings. That's where I know him from, and um, it's, he's great in this series. All the characters in this show are fantastic. I'm not even going to lie. The acting in this show is great. I mean, most of it. I think um, Sophie Turner is a little iffy. The actors who play Joffrey, he's good, but certain times he's not good. Uh, he's very young in the show. He progresses as the series goes on. Most of the acting is great. Um, Richard Madden, he plays Icarus and um, Eternals. He's good as well. Um, the mom, uh, um, 
Catherine Stark is really good in, the, in this as well. Um, I, that's the one thing I, I love the, the acting in the show. The direction is fantastic. There's a lot of different directors coming in and out of the series, and it's amazing. The world building in this show, just by showing us certain things um, and hearing stories of the past, which we're probably going to get in House of the Dragon, it's very interesting. It is very intriguing. And like I said, most of this series, it's not about sword fighting and action and yes we get dragons and stuff but um it's about the characters and it's about the world and it's about the per the uh, relationship between characters that drives the story and that's the one thing i do love about this uh series about this about the series and the season um right off the bat the lannisters they're terrible people besides Tyrion, played by um goodness Peter Dinklage, I almost forgot his name. Um, he is great. I love Tyrion in this show. He's my favorite character up to a certain point of the series. I'll be tell you guys which season I stopped liking him in, but he is my favorite character. Peter Dinklage is a god in this show. He sells every single line. He he believe everything he's saying, even though he's kind of a, a iffy person. You don't know if you can trust him. You don't know if he's good or bad because he's a Lannister, and the Lannister Lannisters are are sick people. They're they're. They're, they're 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 despicable people and we will find out things that they do to kind of like world win their way through the seven kingdoms but um yeah the lannisters they're bad jamie lannister um he's a terrible person he is uh cersei lannister she is horrible she's a horrible human being um like spoiler alert, he literally pushes um damn bran stark out the window because he caught them doing it. Yes, this series has incest, rape, brutal kills, and I, I love every moment. Even though some of it is despicable, I love that the series is willing to go that far and showcase it. I mean, it is in this type of world. Why wouldn't this exist, you know? Um, then we're going on another fold. We have um, Daenerys Targaryen played by... Uh, Amelia Clark and it's messed up watching her in future projects before after she was done with this series because she, she's really good in this series she's really good in the show and it's, uh, it kind of upsets me watching her and obviously Terminator Genesis I haven't seen a lot of stuff she is in but even in Solo I didn't really buy her in the movie I didn't buy her as the character she was trying to portray because she wasn't really that good in the movie but she's really good in this series and it kind of upsets me seeing her play this character and see her grow in this series from being a kind of a, a weak person to becoming a Khaleesi at the end of the series. And it's just crazy to see her, you know, grow. Um, and, and I love that we get to see a lot of uh, corroboree with her and Jason Momoa, who shows up in this show too, very early in his career. I do love that. I love her story. I love that she kind of has the come up, come ups in, in the series. Um, and she's like brutally, she's, put through the ringer in this show she's abused by her own brother and i'm not gonna lie when he dies it's so satisfying you guys have to see it his death is so satisfying and it's it's kind of cruel but at the same time you're like you deserved it you had that coming to you bro you really did um but yeah i, I love everything about um daenerys targaryen's journey within this season then we flip it on the other side like i said going back to ned stark um Robert Baratheon comes to him and tells him he wants him to be the Hand of the King. Um, the Stark family really don't want him to go, uh, obviously besides his one daughter, because now that his daughter is going to be married to the king or to, to the king's son. So she ha has this dream that she's going to be, you know, the queen or whatever. So she's really the only one that wants to go the King's Landing, which is the capital of the Seven Kingdoms. And a lot of people call it trash. Like it's basically like the New York City of of here like it's, it's 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 beautiful but it's trash at the same time sorry for the people that live in new york but your city is very dirty i'm sorry kind of love that ned stark is this noble man he he goes to king's landing and he sees the way the the kingdom is being run he sees how despicable some of these people are and to be in the noble man he is he just can't do it like to the point where um robert baratheon finds out that Daenerys is alive and that she's with child and he's like oh no we got to kill her Ned Stark is like no I don't want to do this and I love that Sean Bean plays this role so great I love that he that they there's this there's this the king before him was the mad king and he was so mad that he literally burned people alive and I love that he compared uh King Ro King Robert to him and it's like you know don't toy that line because he didn't you know don't want to be compared to him because 
he took the throne from him. Um, that's the one thing I do love about this this show as well. I didn't talk about this, or I should have talked about this when I started the review. This this show is called Game of Thrones because it is the game for the Iron Throne. Everyone talks about the Iron Throne as this this mythical thing, how it became to be, how it would be to sit on the throne. Um, that's what Daenerys' journey is too to get to the Iron Throne because her her father was the king and. I love that everyone is so obsessed with this this iron chair. I I, I love it. It's, it's it's such a thing. It's like the ring. It corrupts you and it just it gets in your soul. And I love that, you know, most of the characters when they talk about it, they just feel so enthusiastic to be on there. And it's to the point where I think Ned Stark, he don't really care about sitting on the iron throne. He just is told what to do because he's a soldier at the end of the day. And I love that Sean Bean plays his character so, so stern and so honest and stuff like that. Where, to the point, it kind of leads him to his own death. Spoiler alert, Sean Bean does not live in most of the things, so it should have been known that he does not survive in this season. I kind of knew that not knowing it, because I didn't know how he died, but I knew he doesn't live for the rest of the series. Clearly, he's not on none of the, uh, post none of the posters or none of the uh, material for the other seasons. But him being good leads him to him dying basically and that's another one thing is i love that this show kind of flips expectations where you think the good guys are going to win but no you kind of have to be despicable or be a terrible person in order to succeed in this world and i kind of love that they kind of stab you in the back like that or they or let's say stab you in the back like the mad king as what jamie laster is that's why they call him kingslayer um but I kind of love that this show does that and i love the one thing i love about this show and i'm i'm gonna end in the review soon but the one thing i love about the show is that the show it hits you with the ninth episode so it, it, the show runs between 10 episodes i think the later seasons got later uh shorter episodes but this first season had 10 episodes the ninth episode feels like a season finale and then the 10th episode is like the epilogue so you have to sit and ponder of everything you just seen in the ninth episode and i kind of love that this series does that because the ninth episodes are always so epic so grand so big and then we have to just sit there and be like wow what did i just witness for that next episode and i kind of love that i was able to binge the entire series and just get to the next episode I'm, I'm i'm so sorry for you guys who had to wait the next week to watch this series because I just couldn't imagine it because I was able to watch this entire series all at one time and I was hooked. I really was. I didn't want to stop watching the series and I'm so happy I did. So shout out to you, AJ, for finally getting me into it. I really appreciate you, bro, because this show is great. I'm, I'm kind of obsessed. I'm like literally going through YouTube and watching other reviews and stuff to see what other people think about the series. And I knew I was going to review the series. Like I said, I did a poll on Instagram to kind of vote saying who would want to see this series. I got more yeses than no, so that what kind of enthusi kind of enthusiast enthu enthused me to do this because I, w I didn't know how I was gonna do this. Like if I was gonna do each season by season, do like a live a uh, live stream talking about all this, the the um, shows or all the episodes like I did with um, Cobra Kai. But I think with this show, I have to sit there and talk about each season because each season is so big and so much things happen. So many like characters come and go within the each series or each uh, each season and it's it's that's the one thing i do love about this show like i said it, it does have epic moments but it also have great moments with people sitting down and talking and learning and you you get to find out about the world and you know where people come from and where they've been and what they've done you know is i i do love i i i, I love this I, this first season is great i will i can go back and watch this first season it's crazy to see where characters go from season one how they end up in season uh, uh, episode one and how they end in episode 10 it's, it, it is fantastic overall like i said i love the structure of the show i love the direction the cinematography is fantastic the acting is stellar the writing is so good in this show it really is. You guys need to watch it. I highly recommend this show. And it's so funny because my, my buddies were like, bro, you love Lord of the Rings. Why aren't you watching Game of Thrones? And I'm like, I don't know. Well, for one, I didn't have HBO. And two, I just, I think at the point when people were telling me this, it was already like season four or five. My God, and I got to get into another show. And it's like over an hour long. And it's just, it had, you know, I didn't really have the time to do it. But now I do. And um, I, I love the show. I'm very happy I got into it. So let me know what you guys thought of season one of Game of Thrones in the comment section below. 
Uh, let me know if you guys seen the entire series. Like I said, if you guys want to spoil for season one, go ahead and spoil it in the comment section below. Uh, don't talk about the other seasons. Like I said, it's only for season one. So if you want to talk about the other seasons, I will be posting other reviews in the near future. Like I said, if you guys enjoy videos like this, if you guys enjoy watching longs, physical media, reviews, trailer reactions, all that type of content, you're in the right place. Please hit that like button. Please subscribe for more. And I'm honest with you guys. Peace out.